Hi and welcome to the Incite My Life channel. So anyway, today we're going to be going over another exam P1 practice problem in preparation for all of your Society of Actuary exams. So let's begin. So here's our problem. People passing by a city intersection are asked for the month in which they were born. It is assumed that the population is uniformly divided by birth month, so that any randomly passing person has an equally likely chance of being born in any particular month. Find the minimum number of people needed so that the probability that no two people have the same birth month is less than 0.5. So you can see that there are several types of um, SOA exam problems that are very wordy. They're not necessarily difficult in, in the setup, it's just that it's a matter of dissecting what's going on in the problem. So we're going to take this and we're going to examine it, break it up into parts, and we're going to solve it. So take a moment maybe and look over this by yourself, and then I'm going to go over the solution starting now. So, like I was saying, the first thing we want to do is take the problem and break it into comprehensible pieces. So, things that you're going to be able to understand. So, the first thing is we want to know what's the probability that the first person would have. So, think of birth month, right? So, there's 12 months. So, person one can have any month. They could be, you know, January through December and anywhere in between. So, it could be 12 out of 12. So now remember, we're saying where no two people have the same birth month. So what would person two have? So given that person one could be any birth month, then person two only has 11 options left since person one took up one of those options. So you kind of see the pattern here. So now let's repeat that over and over again. And we're multiplying these probabilities. And the reason being is because it's this person and that person that do not have the same birthday. That's the way I like to think of it. Because I remember that and usually means multiplication. So our, we're multiplying these different people that are coming up, kind of like a geometric distribution, Some, somewhat. Not, I don't want to even throw you off with that. Just in the sense that as they come, you multiply them. So the first person, right, is anybody, any month, 12 out of 12. The next person, 11 out of 12. Next person, 10 out of 12. So you keep this going, and you can see that at minimum, you need at least five people. So you see you have 12 out of 12, and then 11, 10, 9, 8. When you multiply all these together, all of these together, then you get 0.38. Now let's take another problem. So we're going to let x and y be a discrete random variables with the joint probability function uh, 2 to the power of x plus 1 minus y, where x is 1 and 2 and y is 1 and 2, uh, over 9, by the way, and it's 0 otherwise. And we are asked to calculate the expected value of x over y. So once again, take a look at this, try and do it on your own, and I'm going to begin doing it right now. So let's start this out. So we're going to recall that the formula for expected value in general is the sum of the item x times the probability of the item. So looking back on this, since we're finding the expected value of x over y, then it's the sum of x over y times the probability of x over y. So our different options here, we have 1 over 1, 1 over 2, 2 over 1, and 2 over 2. These are the different ways that we can write x over y. So we're going to wrap it all up and find the sum of these um, x over y's times the probability of x over y. So you just plug them into the formula. So we have 1 over 1. And then in place of x and y, we write 1 and 1. And just repeat the process through each iteration. And you find that your final answer is 25 over 18. So thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to incite my life. And we're going to be going over many, many, many more SOA exam problems in the future. 
So thank you so much. You guys can do it. I know it's a tough exam. There's like a million things that you have to remember. Uh, you know, I was just talking to a friend of mine and he was like, dude, this exam is like, or this uh, profession is like five different majors in one. You got to be like statistics, math, and economics, and even computer science now, from what I understand. We're adding in a lot of um, kind of an all-in-one package for an actuary. So there's a lot of things that, you know, you got to learn, and I, it can seem daunting, but hey, you know, it's like that old expression says, you know, how do you begin a journey? You take one step. So that's exactly how it is. Or how do you eat an elephant? Uh, this is, I, I know, this one's morbid. I never liked this one, but it's true. How do you eat an elephant? You eat it one piece at a time. So we're working one step at a time. Don't worry about, oh, how am I ever going to be able to do all this stuff? You know, just take it one step at a time. Work with what you know and build up, you know, from there. So anyway, thank you guys so much. Um, next video coming up, it's gonna be gonna be a good one. <laughs> All right, see you next time.